So now we've set up PHP and we can read these instructions and follow along how to use this. So to build it, we can use Grunt and we just install the dependencies so we can open up PHP Store and go to the Grunt tab and we can see all the different things we can do. PHP Lint, PHP Unit, Shell version. And what happens is, so if we try to serve, will it work? Well, I doubt it. So see what's happening right now is it cannot find the Composer dependencies. So the way you set up Composer on your PHP Storm is actually quite interesting because what you need to do is actually initialize the Composer FAR file. And the Composer file FAR, FAR file is basically a configuration. Think of it as a Bower, Bower JSON or configuration, or just like here we have Composer JSON, except what this is saying is a package information, just like the uh, package JSON that we have for node registry. So to do that, you go to tools under composer, you can init composer. And now it's going to give you a little dialogue here. And this is where you can say where you want it to be. Where's your PHP exec uh, executable. And so in this case, you can choose a number of different things, but I, I usually just go right to the amps.php.exe. Now what this means is this is just the default PHP configuration. So if you set 5.4, it should default to 5.4 and likewise 5.3. So now we have to get a far file, a composer.far file. Now, if you're using the command line tool for composer, this will download it. You can just download it automatically, uh, as far as I understand. Now here, we can just download it with this little trick here. We can just click on that button and then download it to be the directory which we created. So what it does is it just downloads that file and then it just creates it. So now we've got that composer.far file. And if we look here, it just added it, which is wonderful. So. So unfortunately, that's not all we need to do. We actually need to start configuring Composer to be used in our project and to actually download the packages because downloading the Composer far package is one thing, but we actually need to download the dependencies themselves. So to do that, what we need to do is go into our preferences and set up Composer as a command line tool. And this is where it kind of gets confusing. So make sure you're following along. So I press Control Alt S to go into my settings or command comma if you're on a Mac and then you need to go up to this thing called command line tool support you need to click the plus button here is where we can add a tool like composer composer is the default you can see a number of other options here like drush symphony and so forth and WP CLI which is for another video and I'll talk about how you can use it with WordPress so what we want is to make sure the visibility is for the project you can make it global if you want as well, but uh, like me, you probably have many different projects with many different configurations, so just use this. Now we can set the PHP executable. And so what I like to do once again is set it to php.exe and then path the composer is exactly what it's suggesting. And so we can go okay. And now it added, it found 23 commands. And so we can see here, the Elias is C. And what that means is that we can go into our command line now. We can click apply, we can go okay, and we can go to tools once again, we can go run command or command, control shift X. And so right here is where we can type this in. If we type in C, you're gonna see a lot of different options here. These are all the options we can use within Composer. And the one we really want right now is Composer install. So let's find that one. Like so, I've just typed in install and it prompts me automatically. Okay, and we can press enter. And so what it should do is it will find all the dependencies for this specific package or all the ones that are defined that we saw in the composer.json file. We can see its status down here, it is running. So if we click on this, it's going through and looking for the different packages. Now, remember that this is going to take longer because we are running it through PHP. It's like running it's like exactly what node would do but it's, it has to run this in tandem with all the other packages that are being installed and downloaded it does not do it asynchronously it does it synchronously so we found that we have an error here and this is interesting I've actually I've actually encountered this before this is because the the packet the composer.json file requires packages that conflict with each other as you can see we've specified the two dot star which means two point anything and in fact we don't really need these this this tool here php documenter because it's already built in to php storm because if we go slash star star and we press enter it'll automatically generate the documentation for any method or class so let's remove that let's try it again 
it saves automatically because we're in PHP Storm. We can go up, press the up key, up key on our keyboard and just redo that command and see if it works this time. So we can see that it is, it's downloading the different packages and like so we're moving forward with PHP unit. 